Mark, in a temporary order of hearing, how are we going to figure out who's going to live where? <sighs> Another good question. Uh, you know, typically, okay, and this is not always the case, but typically, um, you know, whoever is given the temporary right to determine the primary residence of the child is going to be the one who stays in the house, okay? That's if there is a child or children. It also is going to be dependent on the ages of kids. You know, younger kids, that is, you know, much more uniform. If kids are older and mobile, you know, <laughs> they got their car and they're all over the place. Anyway, that can be a little different. It also is going to be dependent on who can afford to stay in the house, who can make all the all the payments associated with that. Are both of the folks uh, employed or has one been a stay at home? So there are a whole bunch of different factors that really, you know, really are going to play into that. So it's one thing uh, that you need to make sure that you address with your attorney and go through all the issues and bring all of that up so that they can give you coaching, you know, and sage advice. Absolutely. For more information, call Mark at Scroggins Law Group. Happy to help.